Hi, my name is Sandra Aponte, and I participated in an undergraduate research team in the Department of Human Communication at the University of Central Florida. I recently graduated with my bachelor's degree, so I realized how important it is to make a good impression on a potential employer. To learn more about what employers are seeing as strengths and weaknesses in communication skills of new college graduates, I participated in a research team dedicated to exploring nonverbal communication. First, I will tell you a bit about our research. Then, I will share what we learned. Our team of undergraduate researchers interviewed 34 human resources managers who worked directly with new college graduates. The majority of the interviewees represented many of the most desired and competitive employers in Central Florida. In a few moments, I will present our findings. So, what is nonverbal communication? Nonverbal communication can be defined as any type of communication in which words are not used to convey meaning. Facial expressions, body language, eye contact, clothing, and physical appearance are some examples. For this study, we also included the non-spoken communication of writing. Ready? These were the results. Our research team found that most employers have positive things to say in regards to the eye contact and posture of recent graduates. They also said that the most showed passion and they appreciated the display of enthusiasm that many college graduates show as they join our organization. They radiated excitement, and their emotion could be seen through their body language. Although we heard many encouraging examples, there were some areas where new college graduates struggled. Employers said recent college graduates need to work on appearing interested in what others have to say. They mentioned in particular the recurring me first mentality. Could it be possible that millennials, those born at the end of the millennium, have a unique mindset since they are part of a generation full of technological advances and readily available information. Employers commented that many used their cell phones during working hours and even during business meetings. They saw this as impolite and as a sign of disinterest. And employers also expressed concern about the physical appearance of some of our recent graduates. For example, when it comes to the subject of tattoos and extreme styles like unnatural hair colors and piercings, employers were not very welcoming. They explained that as employees, we represent the image of the organization. While employers may not oppose tattoos and extreme styles personally, they pointed out that these body ornaments, adornments, could conflict with the company's brand or be displeasing to customers. Employers often claim that these styles could be seen as a distraction and recommend that recent graduates should dress appropriately. In addition, they insisted that we try to aim for being the best dressed person in the room and avoid dressing too casually. But besides asking questions about nonverbal communication skills, we also asked about written communication. Employers expressed strong opinions on this topic. On several occasions, they said that spelling and grammatical errors were seen as a red flag. They claimed that poor writing skills could obstruct the image of candidates and also that of the organization. For one human resource manager, typographical errors in a letter or email could be, could be used as an excuse for not hiring a potential candidate. Employers advise recent graduates to double check their work and to avoid using texting language. In conclusion, new college graduates demonstrate strengths non-verbally in their eye contact and passion for the job. However, there were some areas for improvement. New college graduates need to pay attention to the image of the organization and to their writing skills. Ask yourself, could my attire or writing negatively affect the image of the company I work for? Show an interest in what your coworkers have to say and listen carefully. Finally, do not forget to double check documents and job applications before sending them. Writing travels and it could cost you job opportunities and credibility. According to the people we talked to, if you act on some of these tips, you will communicate to those around you that you are an exceptional employee without ever saying a word. Good luck and thanks for listening.